Hey guys, my name is Yvette and welcome to my DIY channel and I hope that you guys are having a great day. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys two small wall hangings that I did and they're very mid-modern century and they were super fast and easy to make. So let's just get into it. Okay guys, so to make these small wall hangings, I'm going to be using placemats. I got this one from World Market for like $2 because I loved the material and how natural it looks. It's made of 100% Raimi and the size is 13 inches by 19 inches. So we are going to start off by painting in some hills and you can totally freehand this like I am. There's like no way that you can mess this up, so just go for it. I'm using a mauve purpley pink and because of the material it did take a hot minute for me to paint all of this in. You do kind of have to like really work in the paint on this type of material. For the second layer of hills slash mountains, whatever you want to call them, I used a peachy pink. I only decided to go with three layers of hills and for my third layer, I just used a basic brown. And once I was done painting them, I decided to switch the peach and the brown colors. So I just, you know, flipped them. So now we're going to add in a moon and on a piece of scrap paper, I just drew kind of like a wonky moon and cut that out. And then I placed it where I wanted to paint in my moon. I used the cutout as a guide and lightly traced along the edge of the moon so that I could outline my moon onto the mat and then just paint it in. And there we are, we have our moon. Next, I decided to paint in some stars and I just did little plus signs on random spots in the sky. Then I decided I wanted to paint in some cactuses and I did two of those. Okay guys, so we're going to use a wooden dowel at the top of this to make this hang. I had a pack of 10 dowels that I got from Dollar Tree a really long time ago and I wanted to use them but they weren't quite long enough so I decided to hot glue two together to make one really long one. Make sure to flip over your wall hanging to the back side and then place the dowel at the top and then just hot glue it in like I am. Now I'm going to take some jute cord and tie it at one end of our dowel. Then make sure to leave a little bit of extra jute cord so that our wall hanging can hang. And then cut it and just tie the jute cord to the other end of the dowel. I'm taking some yarn and we're gonna make a line of fringe for our wall hanging. So just cut the yarn to the length that you want your fringe to be and then just loop it in like I am. And this part is a bit tedious, but you'll get there. Okay. 
Okay guys, we're almost done. So just take your fringe and now we're gonna hot glue it onto our wall hanging. Once you get to the end, flip over your wall hanging and then just glue in the end. On the other side, I had a little bit of extra fringe, so I just took some of those pieces off and then I glued it on. All right guys, so we're done with our first hanging and this was so easy to do and I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I love the Rumi material and just like how natural it looks. And I love how this was just like a placemat to begin with. Okay guys, so for this wall hanging, I'm using a cotton napkin that I also got from World Market and I think it was like two bucks. And I just cut it down to the dimensions of 13 inches by 19 inches, just like the other wall hanging I just did. So I'm taking some black yarn and I'm going to place it on our napkin in the shape of like a rainbow. You know like these thingies, you've, you've probably seen them around. And I'm placing the yarn just to see how I want this to look like before I hot glue it on. Now that I'm happy with how it looks, I'm just going to start gluing it on. And now that it's all glued on, I'm just going to cut off the extra ends. Okay, so I just traced out half a circle, cut it out, and now I'm going to place it lopsided and I'm going to trace this onto our wall hanging. Then I took a 4 inch nursery planter and I'm going to trace it all around to add in a circle. Now it's time to paint and I'm painting the half circle a teal. The full circle I'm painting a pink. We're going to do the same thing we just did with our last hanging, glue two dowels together, flip over your hanging, place the dowel at the top and hot glue it into place. Take some juke cord and tie it to the end of your dowel. Leave some extra cord at the top for it to hang and then tie the juke cord to the other end of the dowel. So I'm going to take some white yarn and we're going to make some tassels. I took a piece of cardboard the length that I want my tassel to be and I wrapped the yarn around it 15 times and then cut it. Then I cut a piece of yarn and tied it to the top and uh, make sure to leave this extra bit of yarn that's hanging off because we're going to use that later. Then I took another piece of yarn and tied it about a fourth from the top and then I did cut the extra off of that. And then just cut the ends like I am and there you go, you have yourself a tassel and I did about 9 of these. Take some more yarn and then measure it out to the length of your wall hanging. So if you're doing my dimensions, it would be 13 inches. And then just tie on the tassels using that like extra bit of um, yarn you left at the top. Now take your line of tassels and we're going to glue them onto our wall hanging.
And there we go, guys, we're done. And to be completely honest, I'm not quite sure how I feel about the tassels on this one. I'm like debating if I should keep them or take them off. But yeah, guys, anyways, um, this was also super fast to make, so simple. And I hope you guys liked the video. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and subscribe for more DIYs and stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.